We're back at the van for another build day and me and Jodie are just finding we're really struggling with motivation. Mm -hmm. The weather's been bad, it's raining, it's thunderstorms. There's no good time to get stuff done. The next step is to drill the holes up for the pipes, but we can't drill the holes for the pipes until we know where the cabinets are going. But we don't know where the cabinets are going to go until we finish the floor and we can't finish the floor until we've done the beams and then the insulation. It's just so many like tiny jobs that need to be done before you can move on to the next one. What we're going to do next is write a list down of everything we need to do and hopefully then we can get to what the next step is and then just get our momentum back with this van build. So we've come to IKEA, which is my favourite shop in the world by the way, to buy a double bed, which is smaller than the bed we've got currently. You're going to have to get used to sleeping with me in a double bed. <laughs> We're used to a super king and Jodie sleeps diagonally. So you have to get used to being very close to me. Do you know what I've really got an urge to do? What? Just go and dive. Just take a running jump and go in. It's got nipples. Can I buy them please? They look very pretty. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't play with things. Should we get to the bed already? It's been here for like 45 minutes. I'm distracted. Let's go. <laughs> Look at the size of this place. I know, right? We're not actually buying a bed. Instead, we're buying three supports that are going to go horizontally across the van. Three of them. God, they're heavy. They're still. Can you hold three or slow? You can try. Wow, you can see how small it's going to be when you have a bed. Yeah. We're now standing perfectly in the middle of the bed. That's not bad. Yeah, but I sleep like this. I can't be here. You just need to control yourself. I can't, I'm asleep. Yeah, but this will hold you in. You won't be able to go off angle. in line like that or in line with the center of the... This is really scratched. Didn't help. <laughs> so what's half of 12? <laughs> Six. Is that a bullseye? It's got two freckles or three freckles. Are we on target? No, not <laughs> even a little bit. That's where it ended up. And that's where we were aiming. We, we kind of missed the target, but it looks good. So that's going to be our water intake pipe where we put our fresh water in, yes? That's where we go toilet. <laughs> Gosh, it's so nice. It looks good as well. Yeah. Areola? An areola grande. I like it. All right, tell all your fans what you're doing. I've decided to put some wood behind because we're going to need to drill and screw into something and I don't think the metal will be enough. So I'm going to try and squeeze these in. We should have put these in before we put the insulation down but it's too late for that now so you learn these lessons the hard way. Ooh, most dropped it. Not a nice job. I mean it came out perfectly at the beginning when we made a really beautiful circle. Dinner. Oh, Joe, what have you done? Mm. 
So this is our electrical point hookup for campsites. It's one of these weird shape extension cords that we use. So this is the 240 volts, which is gonna be the dangerous one. I'm gonna try and drill the hole out and then we can get it all electrically hooked up. Is that a word? Electrically, yeah, of course. You missed. How bad? Quite bad. <laughs> That's right. Slightly off target. Nice little siren going off there. Let's get out of London. It's never ending noise. I forgot wood again. Why do we need... Oh, because we're going to drill it in? Yeah. Oh, we can't do what we did last time. Let's do it and get it over with. Check the hole's the right size first. Ooh, it's snug. Perfect. Bit wonky. Looks good then. Ah. Joe's just finishing off the electric hookup point. Maybe we should have gone for black. Yeah. That's most of the outside stuff done. We still have to do the fan on the roof, but all of the um, ports and plugs and stuff have been put in. You're not doing much today. I'm holding the camera. Hey, it's good though. It's going to be so convenient. Yeah, it's the right height. It's really starting to look like a home now. We've got our temporary kitchen and our bed struts where our bed's gonna go. And it, I don't know, I'm excited. It really feels like it's becoming a little home. We have our little seating area where we do things. I'm excited. On this side, we've managed to install our water infill pipe where we put our fresh water in and down to our tank underneath. On the other side, we need to drill the hole straight down for our wastewater to come out of. And we also need to connect the fresh water tank to our like sink so that it actually pumps up the water into our sink. We've got our bed struts, but no bed. Um, we need to get the brackets and the um, slats to go across and then the mattress to put on top. But we've got the sort of area set out where it's going to go. So we've got an idea of size and space. Let's see if I have better luck than with my own fuel cap on my car, because I can't open that. Ah, are you sure? It's not going to leak. We're going to test the leaks. We've put some water in our tank and Joe has hooked up our water pump to a 12 volt battery so that we can do a test to see if it comes through and see what the water pressure is like. So the pump will start pressurizing as soon as we connect it to the battery. We need to quickly open the tap, turn it around and test it out. Oh no, it's all leaking out this side. Where? Oh, yeah. oh, I thought that might happen. Oh, Joe. That's why I aimed it out. Let's get towels. You're trying to kill me. Ow. Because there's a battery on wires and water. You could have told me there was another hole for it to come out of. I forgot. <laughs> Obviously. All right, we'll do it again. <laughs> Oh, it works! Hello, right, and if I do that? No. I didn't mean to. So this is our shower. Slash sink. Wash I, your hair? I don't want to go under, because I'll be very wet. No, I don't really. <laughs> Can just have it. Oh. I've got the fan on 100. So the fan is 63 centimeters long and it looks like we've got about 54. Joe. Mm -hmm. what, what's happened? 
running water, got lights, 